DDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? Doesn't want to kill me. And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I, uh, the, the, the damage that I. I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. 
Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That's the, the better than rapid innovation. A better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this, for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be a uh, atonement. If you're still nauseous. No. The inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No. Life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together, with your loved ones, in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. <laughs> a habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Albert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... See to make sure I behave this time? Security. For your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No. Flabbergasted. Like my old man would say. I'll find a use for you. Intruder! Get her! Incoming! Whatever you do, don't die now. because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Soupe? Christina Soupe? Yes. He's a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my tours. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard. Stocking up. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration.
done. I should check the door nearby. Like that part I found upstairs might fit. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in. here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. I'm Gaia. Hello, I'm 
Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots... If I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. More Eclipse. Careful now. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the sea the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. <laughs>
opening. Failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the what? Just bum crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be. Odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your guy 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and stuff. Square one, blank. Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far... Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. All Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? 
Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Geez, let's just do what it says. That's what benefit from antilope and amorphologies. Though caprid forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. As I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I have gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction Event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? It's like it used to hold something. <sighs> Some no, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. I'm fine. Circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped. But all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left up there. Survive unless you're wearing an. Can't carry more. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact. Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. for you, child. 